I am Ross Jones, Captain at St Bart's in Lime Street, East Perth. Welcome to the Daily Devotional, Psalm 16, verses 1 to 6, in the week of prayer for Christian unity. The psalm reads, Keep me safe, O God, for in you I take refuge. I said to the Lord, You are my Lord. Apart from you I have no good thing. As for the saints who are in the land, they are the glorious ones in whom is all my delight. Sorrows of those will increase who run after other gods. I will not pour out their libations of blood or take up their names on my lips. Lord, you have assigned me my portion and my cup. You have made me and my lot secure. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely I have a delightful inheritance. Psalm 16 is a psalm of confident resting in God. The psalm contains a profession of faith, a statement of the psalmist's refusal to worship other gods, then a confident commitment to Yahweh. The psalmist begins with a confident petition for the protective care of Yahweh, the God of the covenant. This position of trust in and reliance upon Yahweh by the saints is now contrasted with those who run after the commonly accepted and attractive gods of their culture. Sadly, such reliance upon cultural gods only brings increased sorrow, for their misguided haste has brought them to the wrong attachment in their life. In the statement, I will not, is the psalmist expression of loyalty to Yahweh in rejecting any involvement in the false worship of other gods. Two acts of their worship of these gods are mentioned, which the psalm shows. Firstly, the pouring out of blood from the sacrificial victim as a sign of submission to the gods and as a plea for deliverance from divine wrath. The psalm secondly indicates loyalty to Yahweh by refusing to take up the names of the other gods. In the statement of delightful inheritance, the psalmist shifts the focus from the portion in the ritual cup to the portion of the land distributed by lot with boundary lines that marked off Israel's ancestral inheritance. These key terms are all associated with the distribution of the land to the tribes of Israel following the conquest of Canaan. The psalmist's memory of the land division given as a gift by the covenant God, is counted the prevailing action of those who are relying upon their popular cultural gods, where the emphasis is upon results through the powers at work in the fertility and prosperity of crops and herds. The temptation is to turn to popularly conceived and accepted cultural gods, thinking that they are more effective than Yahweh. The psalmist, in contrast, knows that it is Yahweh who apportions the land and who provides its security and prosperity. Where do we find our security? For until this sudden impact of COVID-19, we have lived in a secure society. Psalm 16 testifies that even at the most unstable and threatening moments of our lives, when all other forms of security fail and leave us without defense, Yahweh is still our portion and cup. So let us pray Christian unity. God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, our only Saviour, the Prince of Peace, give us grace seriously to lay to heart the great danger we are in by our division. Take away all prejudice and pride and whatever else may hinder true harmony. For there is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of us all. Grant that we may glorify your name together, that the world may believe in you. Amen.